Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I show you how I created this makeup look and I did use the ABH Norena palette. Finally, you guys have been asking for so long for me to do a tutorial with this palette and I was finally able to get around to doing one today. And this is the palette on the inside. So freaking beautiful. I really like the way this look turned out and I hope you guys like it as well. And if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And also be sure to check me out on my Instagram and all my other socials. They're always listed down below in the description box and right at the end of the video. So if you want to learn how I created this makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've done my brows. I just used some Anastasia Level Heels brow products and I've only primed one of my eyes. I just used the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 0.5. And the reason why I've only done one is because I'm gonna apply one shade onto this eye first. And then when it's time to do this eye, I'll apply the primer and then the shadow on this eye. Just because sometimes when I apply the primer on both eyes, at the start by the time i get to applying the shadow to the second eye it starts creasing so i'm just going to do one eye at a time but for today's look i'll be finally getting to film a video using the norvina palette i have used this once before oh, look at the shades on the inside it's so beautiful yeah i have used this before i was trying to film a video with it the other day but i just wasn't happy with how the look was looking and it was just such a gloomy day i mean it's a bit gloomy now as well but it was so bad the other day it was so dark and just the lighting was good and just I didn't like the way the video was looking so I'm gonna refilm the look today and yeah so what I'm gonna do is just go in with this dark shade called passion it's such a beautiful deep brown shade and I'm just gonna pack that on the outer corners of my eyes and into my crease but before I do that I'm just going to buff out the crease that just creased a little bit how many times can I say crease in one sentence and I'm just really gonna pack on this shade And guys, look at how pigmented that has come out. I love packing dark shadows onto this primer because I feel like it just makes it way more pigmented. So I'm just going to apply the primer to my other eye. And now applying Passion onto this eye. Okay, now I'm just going to blend that out a little bit using the Morphe M562 brush. Now I'm going in with this more warm tone shade called Eccentric using the Sigma E38 brush just to apply it into my crease. And now I was actually wanting to use the purple shade Soul, but when I applied it last time, it came out a bit darker than what it looks like in the pan. So I don't know if it's going to be too dark to use as my transition. So instead, I'm just going to go in with this shade here called Love. It's just a pretty light pink shade and I'm using my Zoeva 224 brush to apply it as my transition. And I'm going back in with the crease shade Eccentric and blending that into the crease again to bring back a bit of that shade. Now I'm going back in with that deep shade Passion and reapplying that into my crease to bring back a bit of that depth. So when I'm applying it, I apply it straight in like this, but then when I go to blend it out, I tilt the brush upwards like that. So it just blends out a little bit better and the shade can get diffused a bit more. And now I'm going back in with my Sigma crease brush but I'm not applying any additional shadow. I'm just going to blend all the shadows together. Now I'm going to be cutting a half cut crease and for that I'm just going in with my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Zero. It's just a pure white primer 
just so my lid shade can really stand out as much as possible. And then I'm going to be using this Morphe M224 brush just to cut out the crease and I go slightly above my crease because I have hooded eyes and if you watch my videos you already know this. Now I'm just going to go in with a makeup wipe to clean up underneath the cut crease just to get rid of all that shadow on my lid so then my base can be super white and as bright as possible. Now I'm just going to reapply that white base onto my lids. And just when I get to the edge, I'm just going to tap it so it blends out more seamlessly. Alright, so I did take like the top out more than the bottom because I kind of want it to be like going angled in, if you know what I mean. I don't know if that really makes sense, but you'll see what I mean anyway. But now I'm just going to go in with this Morphe M166 flat shader brush and I'm gonna go in with a bit of my RC Mano color powder and just setting the primer so the shimmer shade doesn't transfer. Okay now I'm going in with this Morphe M124 brush and just spraying it with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm just going to be picking up this shade Dazzling. And you guys, the shimmers in this palette are insane. They are so metallic and pigmented and buttery. Like, I freaking love them. And I'm going to try and bring it out more towards the top. And now I'm actually just going to go in with this tiny little detail shader brush and picking up that shade Dazzling that I've just been applying. And I'm going to be applying it super close to the cut crease. Now with the brush that actually comes in the palette, I'm picking up this more shorter dense side. And I'm going to be going in with that dark shade Passion again. And I'm just going to be stamping along the outer edge here close to my lash line. And I'm going to be like bringing it in at an angle. And now I'm going to be picking up Eccentric and doing the exact same thing and smoke it into Passion. Now going back in with a little bit of Passion. And just going in with this detail shader brush that I was using earlier. Just going to go over the edge just to blend in the shimmer with the matte shades and I'm not picking up any extra shimmer it's just whatever's left on the brush so now I'm just going to quickly clean up underneath my eyes and on the edges of my eyes with a makeup wipe and I will be leaving a little bit of the shadow coming down so then when I do the lower lash line it connects more seamlessly to the upper shadow I'm going to quickly just do most of my face makeup off camera so I don't bore you guys and so that the video is mainly focusing on the Novena palette and I'll be right back to finish off the look. Okay, so now I am back and I've done most of my face makeup. If you want to know the products I used on my face, you guys know the drill. Just go check out my Instagram. I'll have a post of this look up on there that you can see what products I used for my face. I'm up to my highlight now. So I just contoured and bronzed. So now, as I said, it's time for highlight. So I'm going to be going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Ultra Glow in the shade Santorini. You guys know this is one of my all-time favorites. And I'm just going to be going in with my Morphe x jack on hill jh09 brush and i'm just going to spray it with some of my morphe continuous setting mist so now i'm just going in with my rcma no color powder and i'm just going to be baking underneath my bronzer and i'm just going to chisel out my jawline
And I'm going to be going in with the Sigma blush. This is in the shade Cord de Rosa. And you can use my code Martina for 10% off the Sigma website. And I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks using the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH06 brush. And I'm just going to wipe away the bake. So I don't want it sitting on there for too long. Okay, so now it's time to finish off with the eyes. So I'm going to, of course, be going back into the Novena palette. And I'm just going to pick up that shade Passion there in the corner. And I'm just going to stamp that onto the outer corners of my eyes. And I'm just going to go back in with the Anastasia brush from the palette and pick up this more dense side. And I'm just going to pick up the shade Eccentric and smoke out my lower lash line. And I'm going in with this Dose of Colors brush and picking up this more fluffier side. And I'm going to be going in with the shade Love just to smoke out my lower lash line. Now I'm going to go back in with Passion and I'm going to stamp that along my lower lash line but focusing it more towards the end. So now I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes. And now I'm going to be going in with the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara to apply to my top lashes. And I'm just going to quickly apply my falsies off camera. These are the Lily Lashes in the style Houston. So I'm just going to quickly apply those off camera and I will be right back. Okay, now I'm just going back in with my mascara and applying it to my bottom lashes. And this lash is coming off, so I'm just going to reapply that real quick. Okay, so I've reapplied that lash and hopefully it stays on now. Um, but now I'm going to be going in with the Morphe E35 brush and I'm going back in to that deep shade down here called Passion and I'm going to just stamp that along my cut crease just to bring back a bit of the darkness and just makes the cut crease stand out more. Now I'm going to be going back in with this tiny detail shader brush and my Kylie Ultra Glow and I'm just going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bones. And I'm just going in with my Zoeva 224 brush again just to blend out that brow bone highlight. And I'm just going to quickly comb through my brows to get rid of any powders that may have fallen onto them during makeup application. And now I'm just going to go in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I'm just going to spray my face to set everything in place and make it look less cakey and powdery. So now for my lips, I'm going to be going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit in the shade Malibu and I feel like this matches the eyes perfectly. So I'm just going to line my lips with the liner first and then just top it off with the liquid lipstick. I'm loving these tones. I feel like it's like a nice cool tone mauve kind of vibe, you know? Okay, so now I just added something a little bit extra. I just added this little like diamante to the inner corner of my eye. I just got it from some random craft store like about two years ago. So um, yeah, it just comes in a huge pack like this. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. I mean, it looks really good without it, but I just wanted to add something a little bit extra. So... Why not? And this is actually a sticky one, so I'm not applying any like glitter glue to it. But if you want to apply glitter glue, feel free to do so. And then we have the final look. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it and learned something from it. And I hope you guys like this look as well. And why is my voice so croaky right now? I do not know, and I'm sorry, but. <clears throat> But anyway, I really hope you guys liked this look and video. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure you subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And make sure you follow me on my Instagram and all my other socials. That was listed down below in the description box and right at the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.